What's up guys, I'm Kathode, showing you the complete collection achievement in Harry Potter and the Deathly Hallows Part 2. I'm going to go ahead and get started. Uh, the first collectible is right here. Instead of going down on the path, right, right as you start the Green Guts level, you want to go up, and there's one right here by the waterfall. Alright, there's the first track, uh, the first music track. And I'll go ahead and stop the video here, and I'll resume as soon as I'm to the next collectible. What's up, guys? I'm back with the second collectible. Um, this one's right as you go to the, the crouch tutorial, the cover fire system. Instead of going straight for the objective, go straight back, and um, this will be your second collectible. This is for the challenge green guts, uh, the first level if you want to go play it in challenge mode. I'm going to stop the video here and I'll resume with the next What's collectible. I'm back. This is the third collectible on the Green Gods level. Right after the bridge collapses, there will be a cutscene and Ron and Hermione will cross the other side. Uh, you're supposed to stay here, but go ahead and cross over. Um, try and make your way to the top of the cave. And then to your right, there will be another collectible. Uh, this is another character, Ron Weasley. And I'll resume the video with the next collectible, guys. Thanks for watching. And I'll be back in a few minutes. What's up, guys? I'm back with the fourth collectible on the Green Guts level. Uh, once you get to the two guards on the towers like this, um, I'm actually just going to run by them. But if you look to the right, there's an open vault. Uh, go ahead and go in the vault. And uh, there's a collectible right here. It should be the second character for this level, and it is. It's the uh, Scababor, or I don't know. It's the enemy uh, character. And that's it for the Green Gods level. Thanks for watching, and I'll be back with the next set of collectibles. I'm probably going to have to split this video up into three parts. Um, so I'm going to pause it, and I'll be back in a few minutes with the next level and the next set of collectibles. Back with the Hogsmeade version of the complete collection achievement. This is the first collectible on the, the Streets of Hogmeats level. You actually can't get this on your first playthrough because you need Apparate unlocked. So I'm actually doing this on my um, my main account. But what you want to do is you want to go to these barrels and Apparate over top of them. And the collectible will be right here. I've already picked it up and um, I'm not going to go back on my second account and pick it up since I just showed you guys the location. But I thought it was better to put all the collectibles for the same levels in a row rather than having to go back and get different collectibles for different levels later. So just make sure you've unlocked Apparate and then you can go over these barrels and unlock the collectible. Alright, so I'm going to pause the video and I'll switch accounts and I'll be back with the next part of the achievement tutorial. Back with the next collectible for the Streets of Hogmeat mission. Um, once you get to this part of the campaign, there's stairs right here. This level looks very repetitive, so I'm just going to make sure you see everything that's going on here so you know where it is. There's a door right here with a checkpoint on it, torch, and then this house. You have to walk behind this house, turn to your left, and there it is right there. This should be the Death Eater character. Yeah, Death Eater character. And I'll be back with the next part of my achievement guide. Thanks for watching, and I'll uh, resume the video in a minute. What's up guys, I'm back. This is the next collectible in the achievement tutorial. Uh, during this part of the campaign, you're supposed to be defending Hermione from the from the people trying to attack her while she's opening the door. Uh, when you're facing Hermione, go straight back and to the left, and there's a collectible in the corner. This is kind of hard to see from this angle, so just make sure you come all the way back. And this is the music track for this level. Alright guys, so thanks for watching. I'm going to pause the video and I'll be back with the next part of this achievement tutorial and I'll see you guys later. Thanks for watching. What's up guys, I'm back with the next collectible in my series and the last collectible on the Hogsmeats level. Uh, this one's probably the most obvious one on the entire level. Once Hermione opens the door, you want to go straight to the right and it's in the open in the corner here. And this should be the challenge for the level. Yep, challenge for the streets of Hogmeat. Thanks for watching. I'm going to pause the video here and I'll resume it with the next collectible in the series and I'll see you guys in a minute. What's up guys? I'm back. 
with the first collectible on the a problem of security level. Uh, the first collectibles straight back and to your left from your spawn. Uh, this should be a character, new character. All right, it's the Karo. Uh, the second collectibles right here. I'm just gonna go ahead and get this right now. This should be the ch or the music track. Sorry, and then I'm gonna pause the video here, and I'll resume. Uh, as soon as I can with the next part of the tutorial and I'll see you guys later. Thanks for watching. What's up guys? The next collectible in the series. Um, you can only get this one on this level, a problem of security, after you start your battle with Snape. And then as you're playing as Professor McGonagall, go back into your right and the first character is right here. Or the second character for the level, but the first one playing is Professor McGonagall. And I'm going to stop the video here, and I'll get the next collectible in the next part of the video. What's up, guys? I'm back. I'm going to show you where the second collectible is, playing as Professor McGonagall. Again, you have to be battling Snape at this point. Alright, and you can probably already see it now, but in the back, back left corner, behind the table... Behind the back, uh, back table, there's the challenge for this level. <laughs> Professor McGonagall can't run if you're wondering why I'm going so slow. Alright, so here's the challenge. Thanks for watching. I'm going to pause the video here. This is probably going to be it for the first part of my video, but I'll, um, I'll have part two up as soon as possible. Alright guys, so thanks for watching, remember to rate, comment, and subscribe, and check out my first video walkthrough if you want more information on how to win this game and future games, and I'll see you guys later, thanks for watching.